Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of TEW 2020 NXT 2.0, this special edition. Looking at the first premium live event of the series, we've had two special episodes in Great American Bash and Heatwave. But the first premium live event of the series, NXT Bash at the Beach. We've had a Heatwave, and when you have a Heatwave, where'd you go but to the beach? So it's time for a Bash at the Beach. Lovely. In, in August, beautiful sunny weather, first premium live event time, stacked card, and without further ado, Let's just jump right into it. And the show gets underway with Cody Rose showing at the beach. You know, voiceover, Cody talking about the beach. Sun, beautiful weather, fun times with the family. It shows him, you know, at the beach, making sandcastles, playing with his daughter, Liberty. His dog, Pharaoh, running around, you know, having a great time. And then he marches Brandy Rhodes. And she says, what are you doing? And he says, you know, enjoying the beach. And then Brand, he says, Cody, it's time for a bash at the beach. For a 66, it's time for a bash at the beach. Brandy Rhodes, uh, not full time or anything, but just making a nice little appearance, signifying that it is time for a bash at the beach, as she has declared for that 66. And then we're going to get right into the action here at bash at the beach. With the NXT North American Championship on the line, it is the champion Grayson Waller taking on Donnie D'Angelo. Grayson Waller gained a win over Carmelo Hayes with Santos Escobar's assistance at Great American Bash. Tony wanting his payment, Grayson refusing to pay it, and Tony looking to take the NXT North American title's payment. Uh, so here we get here. NXT North American Championship up for grabs. Grayson Waller, Tony D'Angelo, both men going at it here, fighting it out. And in the end, Santos Escobar ordered to come down he does come down referee down tony telling santos to hit grayson and holding grayson and santos hesitating and tony getting frustrated having enough tossing grayson out of the ring and then just shouting at santos you know what's the matter with you are huh? i'm the diner around here i'm the boss you listen to me capiche you understand comprende ah huh? you hable la english you get it and Santos Escobar eventually having enough, Tony shoving him, and then Santos coming right back, bras knuckles right to the skull with Tony, dazing him, he, he's out like a light, he's just on groggy leg, as Santos looks, and then flying through the air, Grayson Waller jumps through the middle rope from the outside, jumps up, and hits that jumping stunner as Escobar leaves the ring, the referee comes to, turns around, one, two, three, your winner, and still the NXT North American champion is Grayson. Walla coming out on top following Santos Escobar's little appearance here for a 47. Decent little opener, 48 Grayson, 38 Tony. Happy enough with that. Grayson Walla comes out on top after Santos Escobar hits Tony instead of Walla. After the match, you know, Escobar back in the ring looking at Tony. The rest of the family come out. Stax is checking on Tony. Joaquin and Cruz del Toro standing there as well. And Stax shouts at them to get him, huh? You see what he did to the boss? Get him! And Joaquin and del Toro stepping forward to Escobar. Escobar standing ready, and then they attack Stax. They two men start beating down on Stax and lay him out, and the segment ends with D'Angelo and Del Toro down, whilst Wild, not Del Toro, Stax down with Escobar in the middle, Wild, Del Toro, and Lopez either side of him. Legado within the family, standing tall over Tony and Stax for a 52. Nice little post as well. Good match, good post. Happy with that uh before then it's time for the nxt tag team championships on the line it is uh, the champions of the diamond mine roddy and damon kemp taking on chase university andrew chase buddy hollywood andre chase looking to get some gold for chase u's trophy cabinet and looking for the first one to feed the nxt tag titles will it though or will diamond mine come out on top in the end nxt tag titles on the line your winners and still, the NXT Tag Team Champions are the Diamond Mind. Kemp and Strong on top. Strong pinning Andre Chase with a double knee gut buster for the win for the first defense of the Tars for a 47. Good, another good match. 59 Roddy, 44 Andre, 21 Bodie, 21 7 Damon. Decent enough match. Kemp and Strong coming up on top. Bodie helping Andre Chase to the back whilst the Creed Brothers bring the NXT Tag Tiles and win into the ring. And they hand them over to Strong and Kemp. But they tell them, we're next. No one else. We are next. 
for a 33. Crew Brothers giving themselves but making it very clear that they are next in line for them. Oh, banger. Uh, then, continuing straight into the action, next up it is time for the NXT Women's Championship match. It is our champion Mandy Rose, a toxic attraction. Her long, long, long reign looking to continue against Nikita Lyons. Nikita Lyons, young, hungry, looking to take the championship here. Getting the better of Mandy Rose recently and looking to do so on this occasion as well. And in this match, both women going for it. Both women want to leave the beach where we're bashing here as the NXT Women's Champion. And in the end, Gigi and JC rushing down to the ring, trying to get involved. Indy Hartwell rushing out and getting involved as well, attacking Gigi and JC. Gigi and JC trying to overpower Indy. Nikita leaving the ring to go and help Indy fight the pair off. Before Nikita slides back into the ring, you know, checks on Indy first, make sure she's okay. Indy telling her to get back in there. Nikita hurries back into the ring, straight into a knee from Mandy Rose. That rough knee to the face before Mandy makes the cover for the 1 2 3, your winner. And still the NXT Women's Champion is Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose does come out on top in the end here. Nikita gave her a good go, it looked like she might have done it, but then. Saving Indy in the end, costing her a bit, giving Mandy the time to recover. Hits the knee, gets the win. 37, all right match. 42 Mandy off her game, sadly. 19 Nikita. Nikita still needs to be built up quite a bit, but still, good match. Nikita gives it her best, but it's Mandy Rose who comes out on top here as Mandy gets got the ramp. Oh, sorry. Uh, are you sure? No. Change. Poor again. Great. That's That's amazing. Uh, for Mandy goes up the ramp, her Gigi and JC talks crash and get a celebrate. Whilst Indy Hartwell in the ring checks on the key to Lions, whilst looking on at Toxics over the top celebrations as usual for a 45. Good match, good post, happy with that. Show moving along nicely. As then we cut to a promo video from Carmelo Hayes talking about the NXT Championship, saying that his it's his time. He elevated the NXT North American title to the A title round here. But now he's going to do management, the courtesy of elevating the NXT Championship back to the top. It's time for Carmelo Hayes to get that piece of gold over his shoulder, round his waist. He's what that title needs to bring it back to relevancy. And so he's going to take it tonight. Trick with him still, you know, over the top bandaged up following his match with Brom Breaker for a 61. Nice little promo. Lovely. Uh, before next up, we have a bit of a grudge match. No time on the line, but a grudge match nonetheless that's been building between Cameron Grimes and Wesley. Uh, Cameron Grimes coming up short against Brom Breaker at the Great American Bash for the NXT title. Tried to become a contender, uh, but came up short, and him he blamed Wesley, who was also in the match for him coming up short, because uh, Wesley broke up a pin of his at one point. Uh, attacking Wesley during Wesley's NXT North American Championship match, putting him on the shelf for a little bit, Wesley returning. And uh, now the two ready to collide head to head here at Bash at the Beach. Grimes looking to prove his better than Lee, Lee looking to get some revenge. Cameron Grimes, Wesley, in the end, Bash at the Beach. Your winner here is Wesley. Wesley picks up a massive victory. In a match that very likely could steal the night here. From Brogan Carmelo Hayes might hopefully will do very well. But a 60 for this is very good. In the end Grimes goes for the cave in. Wesley manages to reverse out of it. Put Grimes down. And then plant him with a 6.30 cent on for the win. 60. Great match. I told him to steal the show. And they might have just done that. 58 for Grimes. 56 for Lee. Very, very good. Amazing work. Got the crowd buzzing. Exactly what you want. As Wesley comes out on top here over Cameron Grimes and Cameron Grimes is in shock over losing to Wesley but Wesley celebrates massively with the crowd into the crowd celebrate with the people 52 lovely massive win for Wesley beautiful uh then we have a promo video we had one from Malo Hayes now we have one from Bron Breaker the NXT champion and he says that he allowed Carmelo Hayes to to waltz around here call himself the a champion whilst he was holding a second rate championship but 
if, if, if he really thinks that gives him the credentials to step up to Braun Breaker and take the NXT Championship, he's got another thing coming. Because the only thing that's going to happen here at Bash of the Beach is Braun Breaker is going to put down Carmelo Hayes. Because Carmelo Hayes ain't the A champion. He ain't even A champion. The only champion right now between them is Braun Breaker. And that's how that's going to stay. For 66, nice little promo from Braun as well. Nice, both doing well promo work. Hopefully a good match. Fingers crossed. Well then, it's time for the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship match. The final match of this evening, the NXT Women's Tag Titles on the line. Team 2001, Corey Jane, Roxanne Perez looking for their first defense against the Diamond Mines. Ivy Nell and Tatum Paxley. No, and Paxley won the Triple Threat Tag Team Contendership match, pinning Caden Carter, I want to say. Uh, also featuring Toxic Attraction and looking to get the gold. Niall, a little be begrudging to work with Paxley, but Paxley winning her over uh, with, a, with a heavy training, with helping her in that match. And now looking to win the gold. Team 2001 looking to make their defence and both teams giving it all they've got. Niall and Paxley working a better together than they probably thought they would. You know? Surprisingly well together, honestly. Whilst, you know, Team 2001 working well together. They're, they're friends. And we get to the end, and it's Cora Jade and Ivy Nile going at it, fighting it out. They take each other down, and then Nile crawls to the corner to tag in Paxley. And Paxley reaching out, and now about to tag her when Paxley jumps down. And Ivy Nile's like, what the hell? And then Peyton Paxley watches Ivy Nile in shock, getting to her feet like, what the hell are you doing? Then Paxley just shaking her head. And Ivy Nile turns around, and Team 2001 are waiting there. And she tries, but in the end, Cora Jade hits her with that double underhook DDT for the win. Uh, for a 41, decent match. Uh, 43, Roxanne. 37, Cora. 33, Ivy. 26, Tatum. All doing pretty decent, all right. Uh, but Team 2001 do retain their NXT Women's Tag Titles after Tatum Paxley abandoning Ivy Nile there. And... Ivy Nile, you know, on the mouth of the match. Tatum rolls into the ring, has enough, picks up Ivy, locks her in a chokehold. Ivy tapping out, Tatum not letting go until the end. Ivy's just passed out, Tatum just drops her on the mat. And she says, who's not good enough now for a 33? Good, good match, good post. Nice. Phenomenal match of the evening, done with, which means it's main event time. And we have the entrances ready for it. Out comes first Carmelo Hayes with Trick Williams, still heavily casted and bandaged up, comedic levels of it, before the NXT champion, Bron Breaker. Both men ready. 61, the inevitable battle for the NXT championship. It was always going to come down to this. Bron Breaker, Carmelo Hayes. The two highlights and sh you know shining stars, really, from NXT's 2.0's rebrand colliding at last Car Bron Breaker Carmelo Hayes for the NXT title for the top title around here only one man can leave with that belt and both men give it everything they've got to be that man At one point Carmelo Hayes looks like he might have done it to the top rope goes for that diving uh famouser he does from the top rope I have no idea if it has a name but he goes for it Bron Breaker managing to catch Carmelo Hayes in midair and power bomb him down for a two count very close Bron Breaker goes for the power slam, but Carmelo Hayes manages to hurry Karana out of it. Both men giving it everything. And in the end, Breaker and Carmelo Hayes going at it. Breaker going for Hayes with a clothesline. Hayes managing to drop kick Bron Breaker backwards, stumbles just about into the ref. He doesn't actually hit the ref. The referee's right in the corner, though. Bron apologizing. The referee turned around a little bit. Well, Bron Breaker turns to Carmelo Hayes, who is now holding a neck brace handed to him by a smiling Trick Williams. And Carmelo Hayes smashes the neck brace into Bron Breaker's face, takes him down, tosses out the ring for the ref and see, quickly to the top rope. Breaker just about getting to his feet, and Hayes hits the top rope leg drop for the one, two, three. Your winner. And the new NXT champion is Carmelo Hayes for a 59. Decent. Grimes and Wesley did steal the show, so well done to them. 59 Hayes, 49 Bron, both doing really well. 
in the end though, Carmelo Hayes does get the win. Trick Williams, you know, after the, the final bell goes, ripping off the rest of his casts. Obviously didn't need him, give, pretending to need him to get them here. Giving that neck brace to Hayes, smashing it into the face of Breaker. And then the top rope leg drop on his way to becoming NXT champion after the match. Williams into the ring to celebrate with Carmelo Hayes as he stands tall. The NXT champion at last for a 73. Incredible ending. Beautiful final segment here from these two guys. Lovely. Good episode. Good bash of the beach here, I think. Overall rating of 65. Really good show. Very happy with that. Wesley and Cameron Grimes stealing the show just like I said they might have. Uh, but Cameron, just about. They got 60. And Hayes and Breaker got 659. We end here with... Only one new champion, the NXT Championship, though. Four re titles retained. Carmelo Hayes, the new NXT Champion. Increased top of them, 55 regions. Very happy. Uh, make me speeches. Give it to Carmelo Hayes, finally winning the NXT title. And I'll also give it to Wesley and Cameron Grimes, because they did steal the show. They did exactly what I asked. So, great performance. Great performance. And you're awesome, Carmelo Hayes. Pleased, pleased, pleased. And I am very pleased. What did you think of NXT Vash of the Beach? Let me know in the comments down below. Carmelo Hayes, finally NXT champion. What's next for Bron Breaker? What's next for everyone around here? I'll have to wait and see till next episode. But that is it for today. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you have, why don't you subscribe to the channel for more to see the fallout from Bash of the Beach. And leave a like if you did enjoy, because I really, really hope you have. But as all, you know, well, no matter what, whatever happens, uh, as, as always, want to say a very special thank you for watching.